Big moves in the market overnight as we're digesting both the FOMC meeting and the Bank of Japan meeting. At the FOMC meeting, that uh, downward adjustment or more dovish adjustment in the language describing employment, but especially these lower Fed forecasts out the curve for the Fed uh, for the forecasted Fed funds rate, has the dollar on the defensive. Some of that being pushed back, however, this morning as we're seeing widespread risk aversion on yen strength after the Bank of Japan passed on any further action at this time. And as we have this overhanging Brexit issue that's going to be there until at least the other side, of course, of the UK referendum next Thursday. So we have Dolly into new lows and also other major yen crosses hitting new lows here. Where, are we, where, do we, where does the price action uh, collected and, and, and resisted? Hard to make any stabs at this, but 100.75 in dollar yen is a big area on the chart going back to the first part of 2014. And uh, even with some pretty strong language out of, uh, uh, out of the uh, Ministry of Finance or at least uh, Chief Cabinet Secretary uh, uh, Suga overnight, uh, they're acting or they're, they're watching the market even more closely than normal and will act if needed. I think inevitably we would see some FX intervention if this continues in the fashion it already has. Uh, and certainly ahead of the 100 level. Not that it's necessarily going to not fall below 100 at some point. If we continue this brutal risk-off regime, I just think the price action could become uh, two-way at some point uh, and becomes increasingly dangerous to trade as we uh, head lower in some of these yen crosses. Now, in terms of the dollar fallout from the FOMC statement overnight, the market was got quite dovish going into the meeting on, on its expectations for the Fed. They largely delivered on that, but we only saw the December Fed funds future a couple of basis points uh, uh, higher. So we're not seeing a massive reaction in the market. And I, again, if we see this risk off continuing, I think the dollar strength comes back in pretty quickly, especially against the riskier corners of the market. We're already seeing that to a degree in Aussie dollar, which could head uh, lower here, and we're seeing it in, in, in other uh, dollar pairs. So dollar a little bit weaker against the yen, of course, so sharply so. Uh, Euro dollar trying to rally, but is that a really a credible uh, development ahead of this uh, big unknown of the UK referendum next uh, Thursday? I would also expect Euro dollar resistance to be pretty well established ahead of that vote.